What's going on guys? Brent Nelson here with Dust of Glory. It's been a while since I posted a video about how I wash Chick-fil-A's. So my last video, a lot of people still watch and uh, a lot of questions are asked. So I wanted to get back on here, create another video of me washing Chick-fil-A and kind of show y'all how I do it now. What we've updated, uh, the stuff that we use, the tools that we use, stuff like that. Um, it's all pretty simple. Uh, let me turn it around and I'll show you kind of what we're working with today. It's pretty dirty. It's cold out here, but we're gonna make the best of it. And I'm gonna show y'all kind of how we're doing things now. So we clean uh, pretty much everything except for the parking lot uh, every single week. This is a weekly contract for us. We surface clean this. We have the drive through over here, which we surface clean this, we clean all this. Let me go a little, there we go. Now I can see a little better. We clean this every week, but once a month, we clean in here in the dumpster pad. And uh, I might do that today. I can really just pick a day that works for us. The, the owner doesn't really care what day of the month that we do it. Um, so I'll probably do it today just to get it over with. Cause it's pretty dirty. And then we clean up here. So, over there. So that's kind of what we do every week. Man, it's starting to sprinkle out here too. So this is my trailer. Got this from Sean at Arkansas Washing Equipment. Used to be Arkansas Soft Wash. So what I do is typically I'll either use this gun or I'll use the, the wand. Today I'm gonna use the wand. And these are really the only two nozzles that I use. I've got my X-Jet tip right here. This right here allows me to go high pressure at any degree angle that I want. And this one is the same thing, it's X-Jet nozzle, but I can do low pressure with this. So I think it has to do with having this right here because it's the same nozzle, except for this one doesn't have this fitting for the hose. This one I get high pressure with, this one I only get low pressure with. So I think it has to do with this. I don't really know, but that's what I use every single week, every single day to wash. We're gonna use hot water today. I'm gonna use the Whisper Wash Classic. I actually prefer using the 19 inch over the big guy. I've used this thing a couple times, and uh, honestly, I've gotta go, even with the 10 gallon a minute, I have to go super slow with it to get the same results that I do with uh, the 19 inch. So I really prefer to use only this like on huge commercial jobs that have a ton of, uh, you know, a ton of square footage that I'll use. I'll, actually, I'll run this one and I'll have a guy on that. But today it's just me. So I'm gonna run the 19 inch. Over here, I've got my 10 gallon a minute. This is a GX800 10 gallon a minute machine. And then what I'll be using today is the eight gallon a minute machine so i've got a 10 over there an eight gallon over here and we're going to use hot water so for those of you that haven't really seen this is my gas roof pump the ar pump um we've got electric reels which i would never go back to a manual reel again because having this is just it's so convenient so yeah that's uh basically it what i'm gonna clean with today got some gold assassin so this is what I, this is the only thing that I use to clean mostly commercial jobs with uh, food grade oils grease stuff like that gold assassin is my go-to I actually sell this stuff so if you're in Texas area like around Dallas maybe a little bit south of Dallas if you need some I can get you some so let's get a uh, let's get started I'm gonna start laying some chemical down most of the time I can get away with downstreaming all of this but sometimes for stuff like this it's really hard to get this stuff out because I do not surface clean this um, I've had bad luck with this concrete like I've surface cleaned over here and uh, it's really really soft concrete it's kind of weird it etches like super easy over here so I had to fix that with some F9 and uh, so I don't surface clean this I've tried it with like super low pressure going really slow and it just takes way too much time. So I, I rely really on uh, heavy chemical treatment on this. 
and then you know just using a wand right here i can surface clean this all day long and i won't leave any mark so it's kind of weird but it's just the way that the uh, concrete is poured and uh so yeah i do surface clean over here though so typically i'll downstream this area this the whole drive through and over here by the front door and then all of this right here sometimes what i'll do is i'll i'll downstream it but occasionally this stuff is like so thick and so hard to get off of here that uh i'll just use a uh, a little pump sprayer and it works really well so all this stuff right here is from the truck the food truck that comes they come up this ramp right here and they roll in here into the door and then they roll back out through all the grease so this is all just greasy um dolly wheel marks and uh yeah it drives me crazy go ahead and start this thing up let that run for a little bit so guys there is a uh, this type of cleaning there's you know a hundred different ways that you could do it um but this is the way i've been cleaning this uh chick-fil-a for almost three years maybe a little over three years now every single week so over 150 times i've cleaned this place maybe a little bit more than that um anyways i've cleaned this place a lot and i've found out kind of what works best for me so if you uh if this like if this way doesn't you know work for y'all then don't feel like this is the only way that you can do it there's tons of different ways that you can clean stuff like this there's different chemicals i'm just kind of letting y'all know how i do it and it may not be the the perfect way the right way for everybody but it works for me uh i'll be here a little bit longer today because i'll try to film but typically i can clean this you know this whole place in about an hour and uh it's pretty good money for an hour of work um so even when you you know there's a lot of guys i love uh i don't want to get into all that man but there's just a lot of different chemicals that guys say like oh don't use this use this and uh guys you just got to figure out kind of what works for you what gives you best results we use a, like gold assassin is our go-to for uh restaurant cleaning stuff like that but there's there's tons of places for all the other chemicals um you know every single job isn't the same so one chemical may not work great for a job and then you might have to you know pull something else out and uh, use that but for us gold assassin works and we've been using it for two and a half years maybe over two years now i've gone through i don't even know how many 55 gallon drums of this stuff so we've used it on restaurants we cleaned a 300,000 square foot warehouse we had to clean the whole entire roof and it was a old craftsman manufacturing building so there was oil and grease and hydraulic fluid and just nasty stuff all over the concrete ceiling and that stuff i'm telling you right now the gold assassin like melted that stuff off to the point where they asked us like we were first only gonna wash the ceiling and the floor and they saw how well it worked they we ended up washing the ceiling the floor uh the walls the poles in the middle everything because they were amazed with the they were amazed with the uh the finished product so um yeah i'm just rambling now let me get this thing going and we'll start cleaning so last time i had some issues whenever i was recording this job i didn't record so i wanted to record and show y'all you know this stuff happens all the time i've got a blown o-ring on this uh wand so i'm gonna change that out i know this is a mess but uh you know kind of is what it is basically guys what i was trying to get at earlier is uh you know there's tons of like influencer pressure washers now these guys that claim to be gurus and whatever you know you end up i kind of fell into that where i was watching people and i was just buying all this ridiculous stuff trying to you know clean like they were cleaning and the truth is man you just got to figure out kind of what works for you and your business and uh not worry so much about what everybody else is using there's tons of people that are out there that will tell you you need to buy a certain thing you know to get a job done and there's just there's so many different chemicals and ways that you can go about cleaning stuff 
if anybody tries to tell you that there's only one way you can do it, you know, then they're wrong because there's so many different ways that you can clean stuff. So I actually found this dollar here at this location uh, pro like almost three years ago. It was one of my first cleanings and I've just kept it on the truck for <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. So what I'm going to do, I've got the, this baggie of O-rings. I'm going to change this O-ring out and then we'll be back in business. So this is the old one right here. You can see where it's broke. My hands are dry, holy crap. So that's gonna cause, you know, a leak in here. So we're gonna put this new one on, we'll be good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat on. I've got it set to 130. Turn that on, we'll let this get hot. So this is my low pressure tip. This is what I downstream with. So I do have a, uh, a, da a remote downstream injector right here but I can't use it whenever my heat's on. Just the way that it's plumbed, I gotta re-plumb some stuff. So the way that I do that, that I went around that, is I came in after the heater with the downstream injector, and now I've got my drop tube. And I just drop it in the bucket, and that's it. All right, we're gonna start downstreaming. Kind of hard to do this one-handed, but I wanted to show y'all kind of what it looks like. So we just get all this covered. Usually if I'm doing this with two hands, I'm a little more coordinated. I can be a little more precise on where I want this chemical to go but since I'm doing it one-handed just kind of got to roll with it for this chick-fil-a every single week what I use is uh, I use roughly if I'm downstreaming everything I use roughly four gallons of chemical for this entire store if I don't downstream and I just use the pump sprayer I only use two gallons, but it's more time consuming. All right guys, so I got everything downstream. I started rinsing a little bit over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the surface cleaner out and uh, start surface cleaning everything. Also guys, if y'all like videos like this where I kind of take y'all along with the job, let me know in the comments. And what I can start doing is taking y'all along for more jobs. I mean, I've got like four GoPros, so I can always do like some chest mount stuff to where I can actually show y'all like start to finish jobs and stuff like that that's something you're interested in i know there's a ton of guys out there that do that so i don't know if y'all would want that but if you do let me know and uh, we'll make it happen this is a little spot that i've already pre-treated with the gold assess and i wanted to show y'all this you can see where my footprints are and how good it's cleaning this stuff i mean that's with no pressure that's just the chemical sitting on the concrete for about five minutes so works pretty good So as y'all can see, here's before. This is just downstreaming. And uh, there's my line. Pretty big difference. I'm gonna keep going. I'm trying to record as much as I can, guys, but I also don't wanna be here till dark, so <laughs> bear with me. All I'm doing is uh, surface cleaning, like I told y'all. I've got pretty good speed going. I don't have my pressure all the way up. You know, I'm probably at like 2200 PSI. And I'm getting no lines in the concrete. It's just working. This is the kind of stuff you gotta deal with, guys, when you're washing. It's raining out here, it's cold. I've got all my chemical down. The drive through side is done. All that's finished. I've got this cleaned right here. Sorry if it's not gonna be like the best quality after video because this concrete isn't gonna dry and it really looks a whole lot better once it dries. But I'm gonna try and give y'all what I can. So I'm trying to hurry and get out of here before this rain like gets worse. But all I've got left 
I've got the uh, the dumpster pad surface cleaned and I've got chemical laid down on here with the pump sprayer. I'm going to uh, attempt to get all this out and we're gonna rinse everything and then we're gonna get out of here. So let's get it. All right guys, so it's probably pretty hard to tell and I hate whenever people post after pictures that are still wet because you really can't see how clean you got everything. So I'm sorry for the after pictures and stuff, but everything cleaned up really well. As you can see, it's nasty. It's wet out here, but all the concrete looks really good. I've got all that cleaned up. I, uh, I know these lights are about to cut off pretty soon, so hopefully I can finish this clip before they go out. But yeah, guys, it took me a little bit longer today because I did a lot of filming, not as much as I'd actually liked to do, but um, we got everything done and I'm gonna have to make another video whenever it's sunny outside so I can really bring y'all along for the whole entire process. And I'll bring my big camera if y'all want me to and uh, really get some good before and afters and take y'all through the whole process. This was just kind of like an overview of everything, but uh, as you can see, this concrete is a whole lot better than what it was. So y'all do me a favor. Let me know in the comments if y'all want to see me do, you know, like a chest mounted camera and really like a, you know, a whole entire video of start to finish for this job or for any other jobs. I'm gonna try and post some more and help y'all out for the guys that are just starting out. I get asked pretty much like on a daily basis questions about pressure washing. I'm probably not gonna talk about pricing because it doesn't make sense for me to talk about pricing. Like there's so many variables in my business and in your business where it just is, it isn't gonna make sense. Your price is probably gonna be different than mine. So, but I'll talk about everything else. I mean. I'm not going to try and sell y'all anything. <laughs> I'm just going to try and help y'all out. So if you have any questions, if you want me to keep doing these videos and kind of more in depth on the next ones where I can do, like I said, like chest mounted cameras and kind of take you along for the whole entire job then let me know and I'll do that. But other than that, guys, I just wanted to kind of show y'all an updated video of how we do things now, because the last video that I did cleaning Chick-fil-A, I believe was like two years ago. And we've just changed so much since then. So I'm going to wrap up and get out of here and uh, go get warm and get some food. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys. It's been so long since I made a video, I forgot that I always used to go. Peace out.